So, the Chris Tyson situation. There is a lot to talk about with it. There is a lot to talk about. And now that I know all the information to it, there's... Oh my god, it is... It's very confusing, but once you understand how it works, it's pretty simple. So, with Chris Tyson, he... Didn't, he just he is not being seen in a good spotlight right now. And if you don't know who Chris Tyson is, his he goes by Ava Tyson now, but he, he's transgender. He is one of Mr. Beast's best friends and closest friends, and happens to be with him on YouTube and, and has been featured in different videos. And he has recently gotten in some controversy with everything, because he has been texting some underage people and talking to them in a really weird way and not in any good way at all and he's been seen or has been shown to buy certain things of pictures of children that are not good so there's an artist named shadman that makes art and he makes art of different different things some of it's not some of it is sfw some of it is nsfw Meaning that it's not safe for work, obviously. In one of the videos that Mr. Beast was actually seen in by Androx, there's a poster of one of Shadman's one of Shadman's art piece of art was in the room with Mr. Beast, and it was something that Chris had bought. Ava, Chris, whatever you want to call it, it was something that Chris had bought, and he hung on the wall, and Mr. Beast is in clear disgust or seems to you can it's there's way different ways you can determine it but he does not look happy with what is on the wall and i'm surprised you could even buy that online but i'm guessing there's like a certain way you can ship it and whatnot but either either way it, it it's not a good look because the poster is of a girl holding a ah in her mouth with a fidget spinner on her ear and her hat saying sorry or be Talk slow or whatnot, be slow with me because I have a disability. And then there's something in her crotch area that says BBC. I am not going to tell you what that means because it is not good for YouTube, so we're not going to get any farther than that. Or any deeper than that. But it's just, it's just not good. So, yeah. And people have come out on Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, and they have been talking about the situation because they have been people have been bringing forth a whole bunch of information about Chris. I'm gonna say Chris because Ava doesn't. I don't know if I, I don't want to say Ava. Sorry, sorry Chris, but I don't want to say Ava. I'm gonna say Chris. So people have been sharing screenshots of their conversations with Chris, and a lot of these people and one of them I believe is his name is Lava. He got in contact with Chris via. Discord because he was one because they were so Chris was in charge of finding people for admins on discord like people that were gonna be admins for disc their discord and everything because you know they have a gaming channel and everything So Chris had the job of finding people that could moderate that and could also make minecraft maps for people for the like, giveaways and such You know, you know, who, you know what mr. Beast does so Ava or Chris was in charge of that in charge of that and he talked to them in private DMs or in actual chat, and he happened to discuss certain things. And in some of the texts, he happened to call... Chris happened to call, I think it was, I think it was Lava Dad, or D-A-D-D-Y. -D I'm not gonna say the full, the full thing, because I'm trying to be child-friendly here, so. Just trying to keep everything, like, PG. But either way... Ah, <laughs> yeah. He was talking to, he's been, he's talked to a couple of them inappropriately, but he hasn't shown anything. He has not, like, taken any pictures of himself. I think he did take some pictures of himself, actually. I think there was a text of him saying, don't share those pictures of any, to anybody, please. And I don't think they did. I don't know if they have or haven't, but to my knowledge, they have not. But it is just a, it is a mess. Mr. Beast has made an official tweet saying that Chris slash Ava Tyson has been kicked off of the Mr. Beast team slash channel or everything. He has been, or she has been kicked off of everything, so he no longer has anything to do with it. Chris, or Ava, has said on Twitter slash X, saying that he left to go spend time with his kids and his family and such. 
which you can see either way. I'm not sure if either one of these tweets. I know that the Mr. I think the Mr. Beast one is still up. I'm not sure if the, about the Ava one being up still, but I know that he was either fired or he quit. I think he was fired. I think he just got fired. I don't think he quit. I think he was fired because that just it's something that Mr. Beast would do. And, I, and how the how the text or how the tweet was was phrased, it didn't it didn't sound or seem like it was from Mr. Beast. It sounds like one of his like the people on the sidelines was sending it out, like. But being but playing as Mr. Beast, like role playing as Mr. Beast, as you would as you would say. So I don't know what's gonna happen after this. All I know is that Chris did buy some art from Shadman's website, but it is he bought some art, put it on the wall years ago, and it was seen in a video. And someone was talking about it. Someone was digging. People have been digging into the archives. And Mr. Beast people have just been digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. For as much stuff on them as they can get. Which, people have said that they, like, um, I, Ludwig said, he doesn't know. People are just taking this hate because they just don't like Mr. Beast. So they just hate Chris because of his transition. Because he went transgender. And they're just being him on, on him. They're just trying to find more things to beat him up with. So, that he, he doesn't know exactly, but... That's what he's got so far. That's what people have got so far. Is that he bought some stuff from the guy. It was child. I'm not gonna. I don't want to say it. Too, I don't want to have to bleep myself out too many times here. But yeah, it was child bad stuff. And he has said some weird things and some we some pretty weird things to people that are under that were underage. There's been a couple, there's been a lot of videos on this whole mess. There's been a lot of videos, and it's just a lot of stuff to take in at once, and it's just something that they get used to. Because we also had Donald Trump get shot in the ear, and freaking Biden job out for presidency, which is just random as heck. But Chris Tyson, so far, is, he did, he didn't, he didn't say he didn't do it. He did kind of come out and say he did it. Like, he's not saying no to any of it. He said he did it. Or not only said he did it from my knowledge, to my knowledge, so far he has said that he did not send any pictures or he did not groom any kids or anything like that. He just talked to him in a really weird way and he apologizes. He has said he has apologized for the accusations that have come upon him, which is fair. I'm not in, I'm not against a lot of this. Don't take that the wrong way. I like it's not none of this none of this is good. None of it is. None of this stuff is good in the slightest. But the fact that he's coming out and actually, like, like, instead of Dr. Disrespect, like, denying it and then not denying it, and now it's just Dr. Disrespect is, just, is a whole other story. But with Chris, he's more, he, you can, he's, he's better in a way of saying it. it no, it's not good that he talked this way, and it's not good that he bought these things when he was that age, but he did say that he is sorry for his his older his younger self for doing stupid stuff because a lot of us do stupid stuff when we're younger he just happened to you know hit the record button and say yeah <laughs> look what i got guys so yeah it's it's just oh my god a big mess and something that not a lot of people know about but knowing that mr beast is the biggest youtuber on the platform this is something that even i want to talk about i want to know about because the transgender thing wasn't a big deal to me, honestly. The transgender, sorry, the transgender thing was not a big thing to me. But this is not something that you want as a big YouTuber. You do not want your friend to know that your friend, it, like, has that. And there has been a couple things going around saying that Mr. Beast actually did know that he did know that this was that this was going on. He just said nothing about it, which. I guess that he was just trying to be supportive of his friend and he might have just been going through something, which I'm not entirely sure, but it's he might have just been trying to go he might have just been going through something and just really was not good. So he let it happen for a little while and didn't and didn't talk about it at all, but that's the older stuff. With the newer stuff, I don't know if Mr. Beast knew about the texts between minors and stuff like that. Because again it wasn't anything too inappropriate, but it wasn't good. He shouldn't have been speaking like that still. It wasn't good. As a transgender Guy, girl talking to underage guys, that's not... <laughs> that's, James, that's James Charles' level of inappropriateness. But that's all the information that's really come out so far. 
and there's not much else that we have right now but from what we know that's not that's all we know for now so i really hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys understand more about the situation that ha it's what's going on if you even care at least make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace out guys